Uh, by the way, in addition to putting Corey Brewer in a poster last night, as we saw at the beginning of the show, Brandon Ingram dropped a career high 36 points on 16 of 20 from the field. Scotty, he's got the trade rumors swirling around in his head. He's got to have them. Um, but he told our Dave McMiniman it was, quote, just part of the business. Are you impressed with the way how this young man is handling this? I'm, I'm very impressed with him. The fact that, you know, he's continued to focus on basketball and he's really driving his value up, whether he knows it or not. And, uh, you know, the fact that he's just, he's using basketball as a vehicle to continue to focus and to get the Lakers better because uh, I know there's been a lot of rumors about this guy the last couple of years, but he obviously wants to be a part of the Lakers. He wants to play alongside LeBron James. So he just have to continue to play the way that he's playing right now. And I think he's going to impress the Lakers more than anybody. I mean, here's my question. It, it, whether you're Brandon Ingram, whether you're Lonzo Ball, whether you're Kyle Kuzma or any of the, the others, you're basically walking into a training facility in a locker room every day knowing that LeBron James would prefer that you go sooner than later. Right. And, and like, what is that? I mean, when, in New Orleans is probably going to stand pat. We talk about all the deals, but the chances are they probably hold on to Davis for the rest of the season. What is that like? I mean, what is that going to do for their, play, yeah, for their <laughs> playoff drive? Because you know, I, I, it, I, you know I, it's just I business. I can't feel that those players feel that that way. I mean, they they look up to LeBron and they respect him. And he wants he them has, gone. He has truly helped them grow. Absolutely. And, and he this wants them season. gone. I think he feels, and I've seen LeBron win with a lot worse players than what he got on this team right now. I think he believes he can do some damage with these players, whether he He's there with them the whole season or what? Uh, he believes in any players that he played with. No, and by the way, I don't blame His him. His record I shows I, it. Right, right. I, I don't blame him one bit. Sure. I mean, I mean, he he, he would like to win. This is a team with well, limited. Well, and, and he said it, uh, not right. to interrupt, but he when he was asked a few weeks ago or whatever it was, hey, would you want to play with Anthony Davis? His response was, duh. Yeah, of course he wants to play with Anthony Davis. Right. Uh, I mean, so so I don't I don't begrudge yeah. LeBron for right. wanting to make the Lakers to make that deal, but there is a kind of a human collateral, which is that. To make that deal, you're essentially tacitly saying to these teammates, yeah, the sooner you're gone, the better. Well, but again, Brandon well, has taken the right approach. He doesn't work for the front office. Right. So he, obviously, at the end of the day, he's not the guy that's going to make the decision. But at the end of the day, You hey, think that, though? You don't think that he's at least involved in the conversations? No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't think he's that kind of guy. I don't think he's going to be that kind of cutthroat guy. But I do think that anytime any player has an opportunity to enhance his team, and his ability to win a championship, he's definitely going to buy down to that. Yeah. It, look, these guys are learning the hard way, like Brandon Ingram said. This is a business. Yes. And sometimes trade rumors, that's part of the business. And you just have to deal with it. And you know what? I bet you Magic Johnson is looking at that game like going, yeah. <laughs> I, maybe I can trade him for Anthony Davis now. Like, yeah. Ingram helped his cause, helped the Lakers' cause, right. helped and LeBron. He's doing a little Antoine Walker shimmy shake, I'm sure, <laughs> watching that game.